Hello, welcome to our next part of um, Bootstrap World, working on your game. Last time you um, saved a version, your own version of the game file and added movement to both the target and the danger. Today we're going to look at a mystery object in the game, that, so it's not you know, part of um, um, what we've seen so far. It actually, it's even not even part of the um, Ninja Cat game that we played in the demo in week one. Um, it's a, it's a, an extra part. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to update just as a review my uh, version of the game. So, and in yours, um, you should have uh, you should already have filled out. You know, last time update target, which moves the coordinate 50 pixels to the right. So I'm going to work on that in my game file. Can get rid of that for now. All right, so here's uh, update danger, which we did before, but now let's do update target. They've already given me a signature um, in here, so I'll use that update target. It's going to take in a number and produce a number. And what those mean are is that given the first number, which is the old X coordinate, the, the target, um, it's going to give me a new X coordinate, which with our new problem statement, we know which is... 50 greater than the old x coordinate. All right, so whatever comes in, the next number is going to be um, 50 greater. So let's do some examples. Let's do an easy example update target. Now let's see, if I take in 100 then I know my answer is going to be 50 greater. So I'm going to say that 100 plus 50. And I know that that adds up to 150. Now I'm going to do one that I don't, you know, not as easy to calculate in my head. So if I do, I don't know, 222, then it's going to be that 222 added to 50, because it's 50 greater, that means add. And we can also look and see what in relation to what we already know. We did update danger, which moved to the left, which was 50 less. So we took our x coordinate and we subtracted 50. So in this one, we take our x coordinate and we add 50. That sounds right. All right, so how do we need to change our uh, function header here? So right now, this update target is going to take in a uh, x coordinate. <coughs> And it's just going to give me back the same x coordinate. So if I put in 100, it will give me back 100. If I put in 222, it will give me back 222. That's not what we want. We want to add 50. So I can even just copy that body and paste it in. But I need to find the thing that changes, which is the x coordinate, which is right here. And instead of adding 100 hard coded there, make it the variable the thing that changes of x coordinate. So let's see, to use the right terms, so this function has a parameter, and when it's called, that argument of that function is going to be 100, it's going to get substituted for that parameter, and then in the body, it's going to put in 100 right there, and then racket's going to do the addition and give me back the right thing. So let's just look at these guys right here. I would expect that to be 150. Yep. I didn't do this addition. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I guess it's 272. All right, that makes that all makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And this first time, we're really just looking to see if we run into any. Um, test failures of example. No test failures. And I did see, sorry, when my, when my game starts, I forgot that it's out of the frame. Um, I did see my um, target move off to the right and my danger move off to the left. So I think that's correct because adding 50 is going to move it to the right and subtracting 50 is going to move the uh, danger to the left. So I'm going to restart that. Let's see. So no, no test failures. I'll restart that one more time and try to drag it into my uh, video before it. 
فرش مثلا Barely. So barely got it in there, but my green ball, which is the the target, um, did move to the right. And then I will will in, in later um, lessons learn how to you know control it so that it's not always moving to the left or the right. Um, and maybe it bounces at the end or recycles at the end. But right now, this is what we they ask us to do. So we'll stop it right there. Let's save that and go file save. All right, so let's look at uh, today, the mystery object. The game template also has a mystery object, which is defined at the very bottom of the screen. The mystery is actually a projectile, which will be set to the player's position whenever the space bar is pressed. So let's look at the mystery object. So they said it was at the bottom. I'm going to move this down. So let's say it was at the uh, bottom, so I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Well, there's the very bottom. That's how you, the game starts, but let's see. Ah. So here's the mystery object. It's this. It's a radial star, whatever that is. Let's see what that is. I'm going to paste that into the interactions area. Oh, it's a tiny, tiny little star. Um, let's make it bigger. Uh, oops. Oh, I can't edit that one. i got to do the next one. All right, let's try that again. Can't even see that. Let's make it bigger. Let's go to uh, 25. Oh, maybe that's not the size parameter. I don't know. That didn't change, did it? I'm um, going to do F1 on a radial star. <laughs> ah, that was the point count, so I made a 25 point star inner radius outer radius okay uh inner radius outer radius okay so here's one one two three four five six seven eight points it's inside is eight is outside is 64. so um i want to make one so let's see let's put that back to five and let's just uh, double those. So I'll make that 10, and I'll make this 6. Good. That's a little bit bigger. All right. So I just wanted to see it a little bit bigger. Um, so I can see it on the screen. So I'm actually going to change mine in my code to, to make it a little bit bigger. I'll make it 10, 6. Okay. So here's the, the definition of the mystery object, and um, here's the function that's going to work on the mystery object. doesn't do anything yet, but gives me back um, whatever x-coordinate I put in. So I think that's what we're going to have to do today is change it. So if you have a game in which the player is a monkey, so here this is a definition of what the projectile actually does. Um, you could change the definition of the mystery to be a bitmap of a banana. So if it's a monkey, and it's a bitmap of a banana, so that the monkey will throw the banana every time you hit the space bar. Because if we look back here, it said it will be set to the player's position when the space bar is pressed. So that way, if we have the danger, that it'll look like it's throwing it, because it's putting it to the player's position. Um, it looks like it's throwing it at the player. So a game that takes place in space could have an alien throwing crystals, or a sports game might involve an athlete throwing a ball. So this is just another object on the screen that they've given us. And um, um, so let's see what they want us to do to it today. Use the design recipe to write update mystery so that the projectile moves to the left or right. This will be very similar to your 
solutions for update danger. Yes. Change the definition for mystery so that when the projectile looks the way you want it, all right, which I just did, uh, scale and rotate. All right, so I, I did. I changed the, the definition of mystery to make it a little bit bigger for me. Um, so to the left or right, so that's kind of a, a vague definition of what they want for today. But for right now, let's make it so that um, the projectile, I'm going to make mine so that it moves to the right. So we'll probably update it later to be able to do more sophisticated movement. But for today, let's just make it so that it moves to the right. Um, a lot slower than those others. Let's make it um, so that in our others... If we remember, we'll go up to the top. So an update danger. So this was moving um, to the left 50, and the target was moving to the right 50. So I said I'm going to make this one move to the right, but let's do it slower, so let's make it 20. So let's use the design recipe and update mystery. And it's going to take in a number, and it's going to give back a number. And we'll say given, and in fact, I want to use the same type of uh, interpretation language that they used up here. So I'm just going to go up so I can remind myself, given the danger's old x-coordinate output the next, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing here, or very similar. Where to go? There it is. Given the mystery old x coordinate, output the new x coordinate, which is 20 greater. And I can even say 20 greater, which means moves to the right. So this doesn't, well, that, that may be confusing, because really, that's one good thing about the way the, 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 we program these, is this doesn't worry about moving anything, right? This function, update mystery, updates the x-coordinate. So that which is 20 greater. So let's just leave it at that and not say um, that that really is a movement um, because that's somebody, that's another function's job is to take that coordinate and um, put it on the screen. So let's go ahead and just say update mystery. It's going to be 20 greater. So now let's do our examples. Update mystery. And let's say if we got in a 60, we would want to, it's going to be greater. So I'm going to add my original 60 to 20. All right, let's do another one from a different part of the screen. Update mystery. Let's do 230. I'm going to take in my 60, oh, sorry, my 230, and add 20. All right, so let's run it once just to make sure that we don't have any errors. Which I do. Bad syntax. I thought it looked weird. I got three... Um, uh, I somehow got an extra parenthesis in there. So let's see. That closes the plus expression. Uh, I missed one right there. I got an extra one. All right, now that looks better on the screen. I should have noticed that it was pink last time. Let's see if we can find this projectile moving on the screen. Actually, I'm going to take my window and move it up. All right. I did not see my projectile. I'm going to run again. Let's 
switch of running. Oh, it got an error too. Okay, let's look at that. Example check failed. Oh, oh duh, I didn't finish writing my code. Sorry about that. Okay. I put in my examples and ran to right away. All right, good. So it, it told us that the, the update, or that the check failed, which is was good because when I put in 60, this thing gave back 60. And when we put in 230, this thing gave back 230 because it's not doing anything to that. So let's continue with the design process. What's different between here? It's the x core. It's this this number right here, which represents the x coordinate. So we're going to put in a new expression that adds the x coordinate and 20. Okay, that looks more like our definition here. Now, let's see if that works right. All right, I didn't see my didn't see my object. So, let's go through and see if we can see um so our test pass, so that's good. Um, let's see how the y coordinates of these things are set. So maybe it's maybe my object's there. It's just not on the screen. So let's take a little tour through this um, code. Game title. Right, here's the definitions, um, which actually I that wasn't there before. I was trying something. Let me put that back. Okay. So that's the definitions. Um, I added this, my my um, mystery image to the screenshot just to make sure it showed up. And um, let me show you that it does. So there's my big. Uh, I made my mystery object huge to to make sure I could could find it. So there's my mystery object. It's it's in the screenshot. So it renders fine. My our function was fine. So here's the danger object we looked at. Here's the target and we fixed that before. So this is it looks like later we're gonna gonna figure out how to make the danger and the target come back. We're gonna work on our player. Collisions gonna figure out when two objects collide, which you, you did that in a game you did before. Distance collide. Here's our update mystery. So that's the end of that. Nothing is controlling the Y coordinate. Um, and there's only one kind of magic thing in here, you know, something that we, we don't, haven't seen to understand. Um, I need to put that back. Where's my definition? All right, now. Only one thing, and that's this make game. Um, so since it's magical, maybe it's setting the Y coordinates. I'm going to just swap around. I'm going to cut mystery from here. I'm going to put it at the top. If that does anything, if that if that works, then we're going to just you know forget it for now. We'll know that our mystery function worked fine. Let's see what did I do? Mystery is used here before its definition. All right, I'm going to search for mystery. Ah, all right. Well, it didn't like when I modified the screenshot, so that's why I'd put this other one up here before, and then I swapped it back, which is a bad idea. So I'm going to take the. Um, you can do this if you want. You don't have to. I'm going to take my definition for my mystery object from down here, and I'll put it up here with all of the other definitions, so that way it can be part of the um, screenshot. So that was the only reason I did that. So. If you uh, want yours to, to be part of the screenshot, then you can pause it and put this kind of thing here, but you have to define the mystery up here also. Um, if not, all right, so there's my mystery object. It is doing our function. It's moving slower across the screen. Um, I'm not sure where it gets its Y coordinates, you know, how, how high it is, but 
it mattered when we swapped this around. So I'm going to put it back like it was. But the, the order in this function must be stacking the y coordinates so to at least start the game. So um, I'm not going to worry about it for now. We know that our function works fine. So um, go ahead and update your mystery function. Um, similar to mine, you can have different examples if you want. And um, save your game. I'm going to go File, Save. Save definitions. All right. That's good for today. Let's see what we got for next time. Let's see, I'm going to move this down here. So great, you've got the beginnings of your working game. You can see in the other parts um, that we'll, we'll do later, we have to figure out how the player moves. We have to move uh, what to do when the, the danger and target move off screen um, and what how, how collisions work. So we'll, we'll do that in the next few lessons. We'll extend that game. Um, and like I said, on Friday, you can um, draw your own game images with GIMP or um, we can look for um, we can look for that online. All right. Thanks. Bye.